to like yeah but like going back to like way six I, honestly i think they might just like i think most people probably already know what way six is gonna have based off like what was added to tour and it's like i can i can most likely say that like bc was it bc that's bc3 castle yes that's bc3 that one piranha plant track the piranha the, plant cove what was that yeah what, what was the yeah piranha plant cove the other piranha plant track uh and then like what was that one city track this guy added it was what was it uh oh my god i forgot it was spain was it uh oh, magic drive yeah ma ma yeah madrid and then like um maybe like gcn mushroom bridge probably like that's way si and we rainbow road that's what that's what i personally think it's gonna be in wave six well, what, what, we just gotta know what the, what who the last two characters will be. I'm I'm pretty sure it's Diddy Kong and Pauline, 100. percent One of them definitely has to be Diddy Kong, hands down. It's it's Diddy Kong and Pauline. I I think it's pretty obvious that. I swear to God, I mean, if one of them is not Diddy Kong, let me it guess. Diddy Kong. They brought back Birdo. Let me guess. If they do add Diddy Kong, there he'll have the same voice clip voice clips as uh, we. Probably, yeah. I mean, I'll be something from Tropical Freeze. Probably. But like, I, I've never seen them add like voice lines from like other Donkey Kong games, it's mostly from other Mario spin-off games. But uh, yeah, like Diddy, Diddy Kong and Pauline. Um, I think it's not Funky Kong because that's just mostly like Mario Kart Wii players. That's about yeah. it. But like, I, it's it's probably Diddy Kong and Pauline. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It could be also a different character with Diddy Kong. Yeah, it could be. I mean, if I you th take a look at the newest characters in Mario Golf Super Rush. If, it, if you ask me, it seems like it seems like they're saving the best for laughs for for Wave Six. I think they're gonna go all in with with a bunch of updates with Wave Six. Mm, probably. It's probably gonna be another balance patch again. Ugh. I mean, what if, and I mean, what if they add back uh, custom war whites? They need to do that. That would be cool. I mean, the only, the only new thing they added so far was custom items. Which and honestly are just broken. Yeah, custom lamps is pretty broken, and they haven't even fixed it since. They haven't even fixed the blue shells not showing on the mini map. Yeah. I swear, bro, that's so that's so dumb with custom lamps. All full super horn first iron box set. Like, uh, who, about, who thought about, that was a good idea? How about no? Well, that. Well, that Wait, that did someone say something lines, about though. the thundercloud? No, uh, Bowser shell. That one's actually not too bad. I mean, they changed how it works in, in uh, Mario Kart Tour. I will admit that the heart item still works the same. <laughs> Fun fact, that item is actually meta in that game. Yeah, yeah I like, know that. you can yeah, dodge so, like, it. Competitive racing. Dodge like, shock. Actually it's meta. Like... They, they, you dodge everything. You, they, you literally dodge everything with that item. Wow. Yeah, the item is like meta. That's why everyone uses like Pink Shy Guy or Wendy. Uh, I think Peach and Daisy also have it. Yeah, they use like Peach and then like Cupid, Baby Peach, I think. So like, yeah. I think Pink Yoshi also has got it. There's like a number of characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's why everyone uses those characters for like... They need I to add more meat game. costumes, if anything. Yeah, they, need to, they, need, they need to bring back... Uh, if you ask me, they need to bring back the Mega Mushroom. And the Feb. Yeah, that too. I'm real too. I, I kind of don't want new items in 8D because they're probably going to screw the game up with those new items. Plus, I don't want to deal with laggy, laggy Mega Mushrooms in that game. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think you should just say that for like Mario Kart 9 or 10. Where the hell are they going to call the new game? Some people I've seen are calling tour Mario Kart 9 like it is not Mario Kart 9. Obviously mm, not. It's a mobile game. Mm, I know loud. Mm, mm, I, I, I disagree. Well, I mean, <laughs> like, it I is, but it isn't. 
I mean, because like, again, they count, they count Mario Kart Tour. I, I think and Mario Kart Tour is a mainline game because remember in the first trailer for the Booster Course Pass, they count Tour as a previous game, a previous mainline game. Oh, I forgot about so, that. So, I, I, oh, I completely forgot I about Ramavati. Oh, yeah, is that track too? But like, yeah, like I personally think that Mario Kart Tour is a. Like uh, hold on, game. Jay. Sorry to cut you off. Uh, Neo, the change up item is not going to come back because that was basically the prototype bullet bill. Bullet bill. Yeah, yeah, bullet bullet bill. Like that's not coming back because the change up is just a worse bullet bill. Mm -hmm. That was uh, basically the uh, prototype. Continue what you were saying. But uh, yeah, I personally believe that Mario Kart Tour is a mainline game. I think it's like it, they don't say it's Mario Kart Nine, but it, it is Mario Kart Nine. I think that's why I still think the next Mario Kart game is gonna be called like Mario Kart Ten, which does sound kind of stupid. But like, dang, and though companies love to skip number nine, so I won't. I would not be surprised if they call the next Mario Kart Mario Kart Ten or MKX, whatever they're gonna call it. It's like they skip uh, Windows 9. Mm hmm. With uh, Windows 10. 8, no, 8.1. Well, then uh, again, 8.1 was yeah. like a hot fix. Yeah, Mario Kart Ultimate would be a good name. All they did was make changes to the start menu. Was still, was still, uh, which I still don't like. I hate uh, a start menu. I'm sorry. It's a good thing I upgraded I I Windows 10 when I got the chance. Yeah, I think I skipped Windows. Um, <laughs> I think I skipped Windows 8. Because for the longest, I was on Windows 7. And then I went straight from 7 to, like, Windows 10. Mm -hmm. My new yeah. PC has Windows 11, though, unfortunately, so... What's wrong with 11? I get confused. I'm so used to Windows 10 stuff, and they keep changing stuff. But, uh, what was I going to say again? Oh, yeah, but, like, whenever, you know... The new Mario Kart game, because like there, there is going to be a new Mario Kart game. There's no way. Like a new Nintendo console is probably coming out like late next year or 2025. So we're probably getting a new Mario Kart with that. I predict. And it's, uh, I and predict saying, between 2025 and between 2027. And they're, they're saying, and there's rumors saying that uh, the new Switch, the new console is going to be just as popular as PS5. That gives me a well, po uh, what? Not popular. Uh, powerful. powerful. Powerful than mm, PS5. Mm, Would it be a handheld think, though? That's the question. Yeah, it, it has to be a handheld. The, the, I the mean, Switch the Switch is, is kind of a handheld. Yeah. Like, the, if you like, play in the tabletop. Like, Nintendo, sorry to cut you off, Aaron, but like, Nintendo would be stupid to not make the new console a handheld. That's literally the main reason why the Switch is so successful in the first place. I yeah. heard recently it overshot the sales of the Wii. Well, yeah, what's I well, think in, like. Wasn't a Wii U kind of ha uh, handheld too, with the mm -hmm. uh, gamepad? No, because nah, you had to be within a certain really, distance no. of the Wii U for it to work. Yeah, you had to be oh, on a right. certain distance for it, and if you were too far, it would lose connection. Oh, right, that's true. Yeah, it was not really a handheld though, but uh, yeah, like, going with what you were saying, Brandon, I, I saw a rumor too. Now, it, that rumor is from like Incredible Leaker, but I think that's kind of over, like, I, I think that part's kind of not true because like there was other stuff saying that like it, it's around the same level as the PS4 Pro. So I don't if really... Nintendo themselves confirm it, then I'll believe it. Well, but, hope, uh, well, yeah. hopefully they'll at least support 4K. That's that's all I would. That's all I want. 4K. I think I, I think I think that's that's what's probably gonna happen. So if I had to guess that if there is a next handheld console, it wouldn't be backwards compatible with Switch games. I think mm, it, nah, if it is backwards I, compatible, then I'll be happy. I don't want to lose. All, I don't want to lose. All, I don't want to lose all my stuff. I, like again, just want to say that if the next Nintendo console is not backwards compatible, that's an immediately like that, that. Like that. That's an L for Nintendo right there. Because if it's not backwards compatible, you're losing millions of users already. Like honestly, it's true. Well, I mean, like, the Switch wasn't backwards what? compatible with anything. Like, what are we gonna do? What are we? What are they gonna do with us? Uh, Nintendo Switch Online with the new exactly. console. Exactly, there's, there's that, and then there's also like cartridges as well. And like going what you were saying, Aaron, like yeah, the Switch wasn't backwards compatible, but like the Wii U was also a failure. That's the thing. At least it, it had some good uses. It was a failure because of lack of third-party support. 
lack of third party support and it was just like a slightly stronger Wii honestly and and also and, and I didn't know this for a while now but like people didn't know the difference between the Wii U and the Wii and people thought the Wii U was just like an accessory for the Wii yeah, but, yeah people thought the Wii U like the game power was like an accessory for the Wii so I don't know how Nintendo dropped the ball in marketing for that but uh, they did I mean come on it's obvious it literally has the Wii U logo on it yeah, Use your does. eyes, people. Apparently, yeah. apparently, they don't. Apparently, they don't want to. Yeah, I mean, you know, even though the Wii was like a failure, but it had, it, had, it had good games on it. it had some pretty good games. So far, the only the only best selling game for the Wii U is Eight Deluxe in Smash Bros. Uh, me Eight U. Yeah, uh, Eight U in uh, Sma uh, in Smash Bros. Sorry, I was yeah, about I was to say. Hey, go ahead, Aaron. Uh, he said he was about to say. No, I was about to yeah. say, uh, 8 Deluxe is Switch. Yeah, it was yeah, a slip like, of a tongue. But like, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I was honestly surprised when, like, when when, when I when, when we got to sell for 8U, the game only sold, like, 8 million copies. Yeah. That's not bad, because obviously. People, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, not bad, but it's like, I remember people kept saying, like, oh, Mario Kart 8, it's the best game in the series and stuff like that. I, I honestly thought it would sell more, but 8 million for Wii U is not bad. But then 8 Deluxe comes out and then it it, it overtakes Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's at 53 million right now, if I'm not mistaken. Honest to God, I'm real true. The, the next Mario Kart game has a lot to live up to because I'm real true. I don't think the next Mario Kart game is going to have 96, 96 tracks. I highly yeah. doubt that. Honestly, and this is something I was talking to my friends about, but this is kind of like a hot take. I don't. I think the next Mario Kart game might go back to like, like what, thirty-two. Yeah, that's. I, if they, I, if I, they I don't, think... if they don't, I'll be really surprised. Uh, hold on a second. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing from emulator. Uh, Yuchi. Yeah, but uh, I don't think. I don't think they're gonna go back to forty-eight. I think they're gonna go back to thirty-two. Honestly. It just, it just that, uh, stick with DLC. Uh, yeah, I think they're gonna go back to like 32 and then add DLC for it. That's what I think. But we'll find out like maybe like next, like early next year when like the next. Because like I, I still think the next Nintendo console is probably gonna come out like around like November, like holiday 2024. It would make sense if the, if it were to release yeah. during the holidays, because people will be buying Hopefully, it for Christmas. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't end up like the PS5 and Xbox series where it just becomes impossible to find. Well, if because anything, I got it's really lucky. Get it off Amazon. Yeah, but like, luckily, I, I got my Switch day one when when that came out back in like 2017 already, which is crazy. I didn't get it so until my birthday. Yeah, so did I. I pre-ordered yeah, it got, as soon as it was available on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, I got that shit like day. I went to a GameStop with my mom. They had it. Luckily, there was like two left, by the way, and I got mad lucky with it. <laughs> it's kind of wow. like when my mom took me to the, I think it was the Toys R Us, that they had the SNES Classic. And I was I able to get my like hands said, on that. I, I really get, like I said, I really get my consoles off Amazon because I get more lucky that way. Yeah, but um, I got really lucky and I, I still have this, the same, well, like my original dock broke. So I had to buy one, but, like my Joy-Cons still works and everything. Wait, what Even happened to your dog? It just randomly, it just, it just stopped working. I was in the middle of like playing something and then like, and it it's just, just like the yeah. TV just off. Mm. Well, and my dock is kind, my dock is kind of broken too. The, uh, the door, the door the is back I thing broke off. Mine's still in one piece, yeah. I think. Yeah, it did. The back thing broke off. The only thing that I really need, I want, I want to replace one day is like the Joy Cons, because my right Joy Con is broken a little bit, and then my mm. left Joy Con drifts. I only use my Joy Cons if I'm out with my Switch somewhere. Yeah, that's what I do. I really hope uh, the next Switch console. Has otherwise, I do Pro open. Controller stuff. Yeah. And let me guess, uh, Gen 10 is going to be the next console. I 100% it will be. I just. I don't know if you saw this, Brandon, about like how like the what the the president of the Pokemon company said like they don't want to like what rush out games anymore or something like that. I don't well, know if you saw that. Yeah, I did. I did see the interview. 
Yeah, they, like, they don't. Me, they, I think they're going in the right direction. Like they said, like they don't want to like change. Like they don't want to like rush out games because, like personally, I still think it like from like Sword and Shield to Scarlet and Violet, I think it was too soon. I I feel like yeah. those games were rushed. Yeah, that's probably why they had to keep releasing so many new patches. Yeah. I, Funnily I, I enough, the other day I did Owl is an SM64. I mean, despite the flaws, it's still selling like flies. I mean, yeah, it's Pokemon. I mean, Di Brilliant Diamond and Shy and Pearl, in my opinion, aren't go aren't great games, and they still sold well. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Going back to like the next Nintendo console. Um, I'm hoping I can get that day one because, uh, because I, I, because like I really, because I, I always buy a new Nintendo console and I'm hoping I can get lucky again with this next one. I, I don't think I'd be able to get it day one. Let's hope, hope it won't be five hundred dollars. Oh, please yeah, make won't. it less than that. Because like, the if Switch anything, was like, like, maybe three hundred to fifty. The Switch was three hundred. Three hundred. Okay, so like. Probably the next one, probably like what, like 400, like 399, probably from like I'd that. say probably yeah, between 350 and 500. Yeah, yeah that, that would be reasonable. Yeah, 399 is reasonable. So, uh, yeah, but we'll probably find it like, probably like maybe like early next year. They're probably gonna do the same thing that they did with the Switch when it's like they have like a they, they show it off in like a trailer and mm -hmm. then like a couple months later they have, they have like a presentation. Well, the, the old lead is 350. Hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that. God, who remembers when the Switch got revealed for the first time? I just oh, randomly yeah. saw it on like YouTube. I yeah. do not. I remember it was called, it was originally called the NX if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but like, I remember like, what was that? Hey, it's called like introducing the Nintendo Switch. I remember that and it's like, yeah. There was like a, a split second clip of like 8D, and like yeah. I remember when I'm gonna I saw be around that, for another 15 minutes. I'm gonna go, like, yeah, I also am not gonna, gonna be support. around for much longer today. It was a, it turned out it was a port, yeah, because like, but like, I, remember, I saw, like, I saw, I saw King Boo and I saw two item slots, yeah, and people thought that, like, oh, going back to 8 Deluxe, like, where's new, new battle stuff? I don't think, I don't think they're gonna add battles. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna add new battle stuff either. Battles aren't that popular compared to actual racing. Yeah. But if they were to add new battles, do not add Cooking Land back, please. Add them. Um, I, I think Twilight should, House would be a good fit. They should bring back the, the tilt stage from Double Dash. Oh, that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I remember when like- Paris Promenade Battle. Jay, Jay's talking, Jay's talking. That Go would ahead. be a good idea, though. But like, um, yeah. I yeah, but like, yeah, when like when they introduced the Switch, I remember we saw 8D for the first time, and like, yeah, it was like mixed. People thought like, oh, what, is this a port or is this a new game? I think I saw some basketball, uh, some basketball game in the trailer too. Was it? Uh, yeah, it was like 2K. 2K. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I remember people thought that you could switch items in 8D when we found out about it. Yeah. It's, it's, and then you just it's, it's stupid that you can't though. It would add more strategy it, it, to it. Yeah, it would also, it would also add. So, yeah, it would. That would make things a lot easier for like shock problems. Exactly. Or goldens. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they'll maybe they'll add that as a feature in the next Mario Kart game. Well, maybe add the double dash gimmick, gimmick back. Game. Yeah. Yeah. But how would that work on bikes? Oh, it no, won't we'll work on bikes. The double dash thing. Two players on one cart. Oh, right. Yeah, how would that work? Maybe it'd be like a sidecar. I don't think they're probably going to do that. If there's one thing I hope for the next game is just please go back to how it was like MKUE and MK7 where like items. We can just like. I'll go, I'll go back, to make it back to uh, positions and not distance. No, no, wait, no, no, not positions. I'm talking about like, um, like how item box, like how holding items work. Like, like you have one item in like your box and you don't use it yet, but then when you like drag an item with it, 
and you go through the iron box again, you get like another one. Stuff like that. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about now. Mavio said if they did include then. a swap items feature, they're only allowed you to do it once every time you get a second item. Mm. Also, please don't let a bunch of bananas rotate again. Just let them be like how they were in like MK7 Wii and DS. Just yeah, but, yeah, all three of them drive yeah. behind you. Yeah, behind not, you. Not, not that rotating bullcrap, please. No more of that. Yeah. And I what up, Ren? Want them to add, I kind of want them to add back the uh, quintuple quintuple bananas. If you ask me. You mean the giant one? No, the, no, the one from uh, Mark Cross 64. I don't think that's really relevant. Because in fact, in, in the giant banana is like the same thing. Wait, that's what it's called, uh, Frankie. It's called a banana bunch, and it's five bananas, not four. Yeah, they, yeah, they need to add that one. Add that back. It's called a banana bunch. Yeah. That would have been a godsend to get in first because then you can essentially block five red shells. Yeah. Definitely. Provided that no one s deals it with the boo. Yeah. Well, if they if they do add back the uh, add the boo in the next Mario Kart game, uh, don't make it like how it was in. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna add it like how it was in uh, 64. Or you I still... hope you don't bring it back in general. I what, don't what, think that's a good idea. I'm talking about what, what are you still an item for many, uh, were you still an item in first? Mm. That's not I really worth it because yeah, that could be a bit overkill. Yeah, because in just. Mario just Kart 64, you can yeah. steal an item from anyone in the rest regardless of what they show yeah, yeah like just, you, uh, if they did that in the next Mario Kart game where they do it like C4 you could literally steal a shock in first and that would be overkill you could you could I also steal it yeah yeah that would be way too overpowered I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn Frankie down yeah, I just hope they don't bring it back in general. I just think it's an awful item mm. well, make it like how it was in DS if anything I don't remember how it was in DS because I never played it. If you're wondering why I'm playing Pokemon Scarlet, it's Zelda, I'm shiny hunting. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, Chad, I'm going to be doing a few more races what is here. Like in, uh, Super Mario Kart, if I'm not mistaken. No. Um, I'm not too sure. It was not. Wait, you sure? Yeah. The feather yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, but that's but that's a battle item. The boo made its first Mario Kart appearance in 64. Yeah. Here we go. I'll be doing two more races, chat. Now, uh, what am I going to say? I have Come on, what? I wonder what characters they play. What characters would, yeah. would you like to see in this Mario Kart game? Oh, there. Um, I would. Listen, I don't get hype over generic Mario enemies and spin offs, but maybe they hammer, bro. They did that in tour, so that has potential. Yeah. That, uh, what, was like? what was the last Mario, Mario game where the uh, hammer. Where the hammer, bro, was. Uh, Playable. playable. I think it was 3D Party, World. I think. Oh wait, no, playable. Yeah, um, Super Mario okay. Party. I think. I think it was Super Mario Party. I uh, mean, I don't know about that. I mean, technically, all of the uh, Hammer Bro family are in tour. Oh yeah, I forgot about tour. Yeah. Pac-Man's in the uh, Grand Prix. Uh, not, uh, the arcade. He's not Grand, in our, yeah, he's arcade. In arcade GP. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Mm, yeah. Honest to God, I I still think that the next Mario Kart game is gonna just do more crossovers with other Nintendo IPs. I still think that's what they're gonna do. I wouldn't be surprised. Like more crossover tracks, maybe crossover items, stuff like that. Maybe that's add a Splatoon track for once. What if they yeah, add? What if, that. They, what if they add a Pokemon-based track? I don't know how that would work. I mean, there are plenty of custom tracks like that. I mean, what, I mean, Pokemon, happen, I mean what, Pokemon, what Pokemon characters would they add, first off? If anything, Pikachu, Pikachu for one. 
Oh yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, definitely. I still, Pikachu. I still, I, I listen. I don't know what they're gonna do with the next Mario Kart game, but I still think it's gonna be crossover. But can they please add Kirby to a Mario Kart game? Oh Maybe. yeah. Like please. The only, I, I, the I, only Kirby we have is the Amiibo suit. I, that's still such a missed opportunity, by the way. Like they brought like Camel Cross in in Mario Kart, but like. Yeah, that villager. Weird. Yeah. Villager and Isabel. They, and yet they decided to add Lonk? Well, the Link makes sense. But it's just Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach. Like, why? Yeah. Well, no, Tanuki no, the Mario. real question would be why Pinko Peach? Like, where'd she even come from? Mickey God, Mouse? I mean, that, that makes no sense. That's not... That's Wait, not no. Okay, no there. Yeah, no. No. Unless they did a crossover with Disney. No. No, that's not there's there's no, character. No. Yeah, it's not. character. Yeah. But the. Uh, I wonder if they could add Captain Falcon, though. Yeah, I mean. They should have done that when the F Zero tracks got an A Wii U. Yeah. That'll probably happen in the next game. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, I am saving this. Considering the that's track I'm on. They yeah, could have had Rob. Back. Bring back Rob. That's also for the next game, probably. Yeah, I would say for the next game. I mean, they didn't even add Rob in tour yet. Yeah, they didn't. The last. Because I. Because yeah. Rob is not a Mario character, though. That's the thing. Mm. Yeah, true. Uh, Mario said Rob. every character with an Amiibo costume should be included. Kirby and Captain Falcon. So yeah, that is a valid point. Uh, Fox yeah. Cloud. But how would they add Captain Olimar for the Pikmin one? They need to oh. make Olimar a racer, that's it. Yeah, that's true. It probably won't make a sound, because uh, Pikmin doesn't even talk in the games. Well, I, I mean, technically, Olimar does make some sound effects. Well, I think the, the Pikmin games. makes it sound like, woo, or something like that. Yeah, the Pikmin's yeah. make sound effects. All of them are also talks in the game. Oh, I didn't know that. Not like actual dialogue, but like he makes like sound effects. But the, the um, but yeah, that's why I believe the next Mario Kart is gonna be. I think it's just mostly gonna be like a more uh, like it's still gonna be like Mario stuff in it, but it's mostly gonna be like crossovers. I think. Oh, uh, what if? In, uh, what if? And I mean, what if they? Uh... Decide to create more waves for 8 Deluxe. What if? There's been talk that. about that, so there, it's possible, but unlikely. I mean, the fact uh, that it's, I mean, the fact that it's still, uh, it's still selling like flies right now. And the fact that Tour's get, uh, getting close to the, its fourth anniversary too, so there's still a lot of content that can be used. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I can't. I really don't want another second D DLC wave. I just, I just want a new game at this point. I'm, I'm tired of MK8. I really am. I just want a new game. Like we've been playing the same game for like what, almost nine years now. Yeah. So it's like I, I, I don't want a second DLC wave. I just want them just to move on to something else. I just a new game, please. Well, they might do that. Yeah, what just happened to me was totally rigged. Donkey Kong Jr., that could work. Well, I, I mean, mean from they added him in tour, so... He's alongside a, 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 a Super Mario Kart's Mario. Yeah. He's like 16 bit in my game. Mm -hmm. I think what other... And last race coming up from me, chat. Topic. I think what characters were, uh, what kind of characters are those from uh, from uh, Mario, Mario Tennis? The one that the uh, human characters? Come, yeah. The hu well, they're, they're, they're from Mario Tennis, like the humans. Oh. I Wait, which characters? The human characters from like the Game Boy Advance Mario Tennis games. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. like a Neil and Ella from Advance Tour. Yeah, they're, mm. they're 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 also in like Mario Golf humans as well. They don't do that anymore, which is super weird. Like, 
New, the newer Mario Tennis games don't even do that anymore. It's Brixie Princess moment. Oh god, Ultra Smash. What a, what a, what a lame game that was. Well, well, I mean, the Mega Mushroom the mute remix there was a banger. Yeah. I have that in my like, future beer I say I was from the pack I mean, I'm that using. That one, you can't, even, you can't even play with friends. You can only play with people... Uh, Global. Global. Yeah, Mario, T Mario Tennis Ultra Smash was like... You can definitely tell, like, around that time, Nintendo didn't have that much stuff for the holiday season, so they were like, go make a Mario Tennis game for the holiday season and call it, call it a day. That's literally it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that game is so... Like, I, I have no idea why that game exists. It, it's it's such a nothing game. Yeah. Tell me about it. For me, it's like in the middle. That was like, I think that was like, what, 2015? So like... Was yeah, like, that, that was that was Nintendo's worst year ever. Yeah, it was like 2015. Yeah, that you was can actually play with friends or just have to get lucky with the match online. Well, I mean, uh, that, I mean, that's like Slim to None. I mean, e, I mean, E3 2015 was one of the worst. Yeah, nah, Nintendo's 2015 was pretty bad. Yeah, it was. But, but at least they redeemed themselves after that. No, because they, they had the Switch that came out like a year, like two years later. Yeah. And N Nintendo's starting to redeem themselves even more. Like Mario oh, Wonders, gosh. like the Mario platformer everyone needed. Wait, who's Toes Worth again? I forgot. Uh, the old, old, with the mustache. Uh, oh, oh. Peach's secretary yeah. from back then. Oh, oh, now I think, yeah, what did happen to him? No idea. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Remember. I guess you could say he retired. Retired from what? Is the question. That I don't know the answer to, but. Retired from the junk. Well, yeah, there you go. What job? Being the secretary. This job of protected peace doesn't time. Oh, true. Last time I saw in the second Mario Baseball game, oh yeah, true, Super Sluggers. Well, just imagine him being, if only he showed up in a movie, though. I mean, I think, I think in the concept art for that movie, I think he was in the concept art. I don't know, I don't remember that one. Uh, Bowser Silo was a Bowser's Inside Story. Oh. Uh, well, and then, then there was like, in the Paper Mario series, uh, what is it, Kirsty and Huey? Yeah, like, ever since Super Paper Mario, every Paper Mario game has like a sidekick. Kirsty mm -hmm. sucks. Well, Sticker Star sucks in general. Yeah. Worst, worst Paper Mario has Hands down. Well, I mean, it didn't have a world just, map, which yeah. was interesting. Just imagine Nintendo adding King DDD to uh, Mario Kart one day. Yeah, if they do that, they have to add Kirby. Kirby. Yeah, or 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 his uh, or Kirby's but uh, best buddy Waddle D. I think that's his best buddy. I will be right back. Wait, that's going to be it for today. Thankfully, I'm surprised my laptop didn't overheat, but, uh...